back to my channel dental cafe so today we are going to discuss about how to diagnose a tooth whether it's a reversible pulpitis irreversible pulpitis or pulpal necrosis okay then let's begin the video so look at the figure first one we have a healthy tooth no caries nothing yes, we have a healthy tooth we have a vital pulp in second one tooth is decayed slightly decayed or carious tooth but it will not involve a pulp slight inflammation of pulp you can see so this is a case of reversible pulpitis in this case pulp, uh, pulp return to normal then third one you can see caries involve a part of pulp horn this is a case of irreversible pulpitis in this case this is difficult uh, to uh, to treat a tooth without endodontic therapy then in fourth one as you can see when tooth is grossly decayed for a long time period then it will result in formation of abscess as you can see a periapical pathology because of long decayed tooth it will result in pulp necrosis pulp become completely dead and infection infection reach the apex how will you diagnose whether it is a case of reversible pulpitis it is a case of irreversible pulpitis or a pulpal necrosis so in first one if you are doing a pulp testing you have you can rarely see a mild to moderate transient response to thermal and electrical stimuli patient will not re respond uh, to thermal or electrical stimuli there is a mild response but in case of reversible pulpitis there is a sharp pain especially to cold stimuli agar aap koi bhi thandi cheez daant pe lagayenge patient bolega main kuch bhi thanda khata hu ice cream khata hu mujhe ekdam se pain hota hai and then wo subside ho jata hai wo stay nahi karta theek hai in this case there is no spontaneous pain pain subside ho jayega in third one in case of irreversible pulpitis patient high patient will give hypo response to warm stimuli and that lingers in this case pulp chamber hamara open ho chuka hai to patient kuch bhi garam khayega wo hyper response dega usko turant pain hoga and that pain may remain there for a time so there is a spontaneous pain in this condition postural changes can increase pain because when you are going in lying down position pressure in the pulp increases and it will causes the more pain to patient aapko bolega aapko patient se puchna hai kya sote time zyada pain hota hai to bolega ha lete time mujhe zyada dard hota hai last one we have a pulpal necrosis पेशेंट कोई भी रिस्पॉन्स नहीं करेगा थर्मल स्टिमुलाय का बिकॉज आपका पल्प डेड हो चुका है पल्पल निक्रॉसिस हो चुका है सो एक्टिवली क्रोनिक स्पॉन्टेनियस पेन वाई पेन वेन पल्प बिकम डेड देन वाई देर इज अ पेन बिकॉज ऑफ पेरियपाइकल पैथोलॉजी बिकॉज ऑफ एप्सिस दैट इज इन दोन ड्यू टू विच पेशेंट फील्स पेन so this pain is not because of pulp this pain is because of periapical pathology pulp is symptomatic in reversible and irreversible pulpitis but become completely asymptomatic in pulpal necrosis and in pulpal necrosis of anterior dentition you can see brownish discoloration because of long term interruption of blood supply so there is a, a brown discoloration of crown now the treatment option for healthy tooth you need no treatment just to maintain the oral health for reversible pulpitis you can remove the carious part i either apply a base or go for restoration for irreversible pulpitis you have to go for endodontic th therapy do rct if decay is more then give uh, prosthesis in pulpal necrosis if the condition of the tooth is very poor then go for extraction and if you are 
you can able to save that tooth then do rct and give prosthesis in next part i'm going to tell i'm going to clinically tell you how irreversible pulpitis reversible pulpitis and pulpal necrosis look like in iupr that it will be easy for you to diagnose in clinical practice if this video is helpful for you then don't forget to like share and comment and hit the bell icon for the latest updates